morning, I'm Francois Granet, the head of communication for Green GT and Mission H24. Mission H24 is a program built together between the Automobile Club de l'Ouest, the owner and organizer of the 24 Hours of Le Mans, and Green GT, a company dedicated for more than 10 years now in producing, developing and researching on fuel cell, electric fuel cell alimented with hydrogen for cars and heavy duty vehicles. May I introduce you to our car, the car here in Goodwood for us for the hill climb. This car is the LMP H2G, LMP for Le Mans prototype, 2G for type number 2, category number 2, H for hydrogen, G for gas. This car is working with an hydrogen fuel cell that you can see here. This hydrogen fuel cell is a very simple device, in fact. The whole motor group is producing electricity for electrical engines at the rear of the car. How is a fuel cell working? Very simple. From the 19th century, scientists know that when you combine hydrogen and oxygen, you can produce electricity, heat, and produce a new molecule, which is water, H2O. So this car used this physical principle to move, move and be performant as well. We have here a fuel cell. This fuel cell is made, let's put it simple, of a membrane. On one side of the membrane, you introduce the hydrogen, which is stored in three tanks in the car here. So on one side of the membrane comes this hydrogen. On the other side of the membrane comes air. From the outside, we take it when the car is running. And from this air, the membrane keep only oxygen atoms. Within the membranes, the oxygen atoms and the hydrogen molecules meet together. Love at first glance. They melt together and immediately, what do they do? They produce three things. First, they produce heat. It's a physical chemical reaction. It makes heat. Second, they produce electricity. What do we do with the electricity? We take it and send it to the four electrical engines at the rear of the car. And what is the consequence of everything? Consequence is the creation of a new molecule, H2O, water. So this car is rejecting water outside from the exhaust, which is the only only exhaust from the car. No NOx, no carbon dioxide, no particles, nothing except water. Means that thanks to the electric hydrogen fuel cell, you produce the energy to move the car and you produce no pollution, nothing. This is racing in the future. This car is a normal sport prototype car, which means that as a development car, Actually, it's racing around about 300 k's per hour, of course, and has the same performance level as a normal sport prototype. Of course, it's not already at the level of a top Le Mans sport prototype because we are working on the car. We are preparing for 2024 the arrival of a new category at the Le Mans 24 hours, a new category dedicated to electric hydrogen sport prototype. Hi everyone, I'm Stéphane Riquelme coming from Monaco. I'm one of the drivers of the Mission H24, which is the car right behind me. So this car uh, is the only one like this here in Goodwood. It's working with hydrogen. So it's hybrid hydrogen and electricity. So this car, the main thing is that it produces its own electricity and we are here to develop this technology to come to bring this car in Le Mans within three years now. And hopefully, if everything works well, we'll put hydrogen car all over the place. Excellent. Good to see you. First time in 49 years. There's the driving experience. Is it very powerful? What's the, what's the... Yeah, the, the new one is uh, more than 600 horsepower. Yeah. It's still a bit heavy though. Right. But uh, there is a lot of torque because 
thanks to the the battery, no, the 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 power is coming really straight from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a <coughs> because it's electric engine. <coughs> so now that we are not driving, the fuel cell is charging the battery. I have the state of charge okay, here, okay. and it's charging the battery. No? Good runs, impressive, impressive thing. And only water is coming out. <laughs> yeah, brilliant, isn't it? That's a great the noise, thing. extraordinary. I mean, it was great, great to be here, great to see many people, especially nowadays with uh, what's going on. So it's it's good to for us to have shown uh, that the car is working well, uh, behave well uh, during these four days without any issue. It's important to to show this more than the pace. And uh, hopefully we'll come back next year with a new car, will be uh, faster and uh, we'll try it maybe to, uh, to set a good lap time.